Footballer in the world. Yes! <laughs> yes, for England! And they needed a draw. David Beckham has done it big time. What's going on guys, that is JJ here, back with another video today, taking a look at the iconic match that turned David Beckham into a national hero. Uh, obviously, I didn't really start watching back then, I, I think this is in 2001, I believe, because it's qualifications for the 2002 World Cup in Japan and South Korea. We're going to take a match, or take a look at the contest that made David Beckham a bonafide superstar, despite him being in the class of 92, despite him being already one of the best players in, in Manchester United squad at the time. This was well before, I guess not, not well before, but right before the time that he went to Real Madrid and obviously AC Milan and PSG and LA Galaxy and turned into this superstar man who now owns his own football club. We're going to take a look at what made him the bonafide star that he is today. So you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on the iconic match. What is this moment for you? How does it make you guys feel? Let me know down in the comments below and let's get into the video. As well guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. In their own hands, who oh, the quality is gonna kill me, but you know what? We're, we're gonna persevere. We're gonna stick to this. That number seven shirt. Two World Cup qualifiers in Australia. Is that Ashley Cole? In Finland, Ashley Cole is there in 2001. If they're looking for excellent, they were a little edgy, a little nervy against Albania. Even at 1 0 up in second half, maybe a little tiredness there after the exertions in Champions. This one, even for Beckham. Hmm. I don't really know who's in this England team either. I, I mean, besides the actual call that we saw, 2001 England, I, I cannot imagine. Probably Rio. Maybe Michael Owen? Pesky? I don't know, Joe Cole? Ooh. Another free kick. That was a rack. The save. That's a really good save. That was a really good save. That's about as good as it gets. <laughs> I love that even in the number seven shirt, just running through the midfield. Central. Gerard to the right. I think you'll get a chance. Grateful for the help behind him from Keo. Bobby Fowler trying to kind of cross in towards Heskey. Dude, he keeps getting fouled in the same spot over and over and over. First quicker than Karagunis. It is David Beckham who's contributed so much. Oh, he's sky that would major. I get that he's got a golden right foot, but I mean, the guy was literally limping. <laughs> Patience trying to work an opening. So it was very close to half time when uh, Michael Owen got the breakthrough against Albania. He uh, had plenty of physical presence there as well. It's Martin Keown. Gerard. Oh Beckham. boy, what the hell was that? Uh, Another free kick. You might have so many free kicks in this game, my goodness. Richard, my big fear prior to the game was that uh, the expectancy from the, what's very, very good, you know, Premiership players, they're unrecognisable with their performances. I just hope for... Greece, uh, wait, so Greece ended up actually, ended, like, they actually ended up scoring. Yeah. England, what were you this doing? Beckham scored from in Athens fastest. That's what England was. Beckham. Another free kick. Oh my goodness. He's got a powerful right foot though. That wasn't even going in. I don't think that was even going in. That's a horrid first touch. to orchestrate something to Greece again with help by uh, Nikolaidis. He gets uh, bustled out of it by mm, more positive bastard. England. Beckham. I wonder uh, when he scored that goal. Out by 
Konstantinidis. Beckham wins it back. Yeah, good job, Paul. England need goals. Time for Beckham to assess what's on in the centre. At the end, I just wonder if he'd have thrown himself in. Beckham was really good with both feet, so I do give him credit for that. Played pass. He made it pass in and scores. David Beckham. His sort of angle. Yeah. Didn't quite get the power he wanted into the opposite corner. The one nearest does. Certainly, it's a good enough first touch. Beckham. Two chances in the second half that Greece have squandered. Beckham. Hmm. What a turn. Uh, yeah, he's going to get bodied eventually. <laughs> they literally hit him so hard his armband fell off. Oh my lord, how has that, how has that actually worked? How has that actually worked? The free kicks have finally paid off. The billions of them that England have gotten finally works out perfectly. Wow, <laughs> right off the back of your head. These sort of things don't happen in football. But there he is, at 35 years of age. Large as life. It's the most exquisite head. Mm, okay, you know what? No, oh, gosh, Free scored again. Okay, I was going to say, maybe that would be enough to actually help get them in. Since then, England the rules not quite properly. a direct I thought he scored, bro. I'm so close. So he's got a free kick assist, and now he's finally got the chance to score another one, and he misses it. He's had about six shots in this game from the free kick spot, and he just hasn't scored any of them. England's throw. Send the box. Uh, no. Greece goalkeeper is actually playing very well. The, the Greece goalkeeper is, is uh, you know. David Beckham is taking over this game. <laughs> he really tried to just spin and get it. <laughs> Another shot on goal, isn't it? Deflection this time, okay. The man has had an enormous amount of free kicks. Teddy Sheringham. David Beckham, 90 second minute. There's no way he's actually going to end up hitting this one. Recognizable footballer in the world. Yes! <laughs> yes, for England! And they needed a draw. David Beckham has done it big time. Okay, that definitely brings a smile on my face. He's had about nine different, nine billion chances to score a free kick in this game. And of course, you leave it until the last minute that you can get it. And the Greek goalkeeper, he just, he just sits so flat-footed. Imagine he saves this, it would have been the save of the century. Okay, you know what? Fair play to David Beckham. It, it, it was actually really iconic. He had so many free kick chances, got the assist off the free kick as well. All they needed was a draw to advance to the World Cup. And they did it. And I mean, it. not only is that sort of an iconic performance, but it's the iconic performance, I think, for England so far. Obviously, I actually really, really like this, but you guys got to let me know your thoughts. Uh, maybe more in the context, especially with how England ended up doing in the 2002 World Cup, because I cannot remember where they even got to. I, th I think they got eliminated in the quarterfinals. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on the video down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.